Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I recently got the OLED G8 from Samsung in the mail. You know, I've been waiting for this monitor for the longest time and I got it here. This just arrived the other day. So let's go ahead and unbox it. I'll give you guys my first impressions. And then two weeks from now, we'll do a full review. But let's go see what's inside the box. All right, so if I'm correct, this is it. What, what the heck, look at this Amazon package. It's not even, it's not even taped in all the way. Let me just put this box away so we got more space. Okay, so it doesn't actually say which one the top is or which one's the back. So we're just gonna guess and take a stab at it. Okay, so we guessed right. All right, so let's actually see what's in the box. Okay, so this looks like what is this? This looks like it's the it's where you connect the monitor to. Let's see what this guy is. This looks like it's the base. So this looks like it's the base. So this one's pretty cool because this monitor has been so controversial when people were trying to guess if you could base amount this. And now I can actually confirm that you can mount it. So here's the mounting plate. So you need to attach this to the back of your monitor so you can mount it to a monitor arm. All right, so This is a huge power brick. Like, this is crazy, this is huge. Uh, I wish it was smaller, but we'll have to work with this. And then here, we got Here's another controversial one. So, we don't understand why they decided to put micro display ports. Like, why couldn't we just get a normal display port, Samsung? Like, I, I don't understand, so. It's weird. This guy attaches to the power brick. It's pretty standard. And probably the best thing about this monitor is the remote. This guy charges through a USB, so. Thank you, Samsung, for not giving us batteries and making rechargeable remotes. All right, the star of the show is this monitor. Okay, so we talked about it. For ports, you have the mini display port, the micro HDMI. This one I'm probably most excited for because it's USB-C and there's power draw, and another USB-C, so. Okay. So to connect the base, it has screws in here. Let's do it like this. It doesn't come with a screwdriver, so we need to go find one. I found one of these baby screwdrivers in my uh, for my monitor mount. It came with a screwdriver and a Allen Allen wrench. There you go. Monitor. Ooh, wow. Crazy. It's so. Wow, it's so nice. Like, it's so. That's crazy. It's so thin. It's nice. More companies should be doing this for their monitors. Like, the peel off, right? Because 
the LG didn't come with a peel off. So by the time you're done putting it in your desk, you have like all kinds of fingerprints. So I appreciate that, Samsung. Uh, this is the LG. Um, it's mounted in the Dell arm. So we just need to swap this out and then I'll get back to you guys when we've swapped it. There it is. Two simple options. How would you like to get started? Choose one. To so, use the accessibility yeah. function, simply I'll press the and hold. Oh, by the way, while waiting for this, let's do the first peel out. Let's see it. I must say, this is basically almost like a TV. It's kind of cool that you never, you'll never have to download firmware updates just because it just does it for you. So we'll check back in when this is done. So it's done. Um, see, this is funny because like, like I said, it's like a TV. Now it's even, now it's even asking for my zip code. So I'm gonna go ahead. Is this not skippable? See, it's like a TV. It's telling me that I'm just gonna skip for now. The last screen. So it's making you pick Alexa or Bixby. So we'll skip that for now. Skip. See, look at this. All right, so you got your Netflix. You got your YouTube TV. Your 2B. This is crazy. Like, <laughs> this is actually pretty cool. Okay, so let's just enable that. <clears throat> oh, that was that was cool. Okay, so. Here's the remote. So the cool thing about this is the gaming hub. So you have your Xbox, your Luna, your GeForce Now. And now literally I don't even have to connect my Xbox down here because you could literally just have it, right? I can play Forza Horizon 5. Like I probably just need to log in, but that's cool. Anyways. So connect the device, we have the PC. We need to go to the control panel to see if they can. this can do 10-bit. There you go. It looks like it can do 175 hertz at 10-bit. Let's go ahead and do a quick ghosting test. Wow, okay. Dude. Literally no motion blur, or no, literally no ghosting. Well, I mean, we kind of expect that because it's an OLED monitor, so. That is freaking sick. Okay, so the reason I returned my Dell QD OLED is because it's the same annoyance as this, that the main game I play does not support ultra-wide. Oh, let me turn down the speakers. So even... I mean, there is a fix. You can play in, in window and then you change the resolution, but this will stretch out. It doesn't really, it's not really a fix. It's just, you get the stretch image, but I like playing in 69. So let's go ahead, do a death match real fast. It, it, this looks, honestly, this looks really clear to me. And, and like, this is honestly pretty smooth. Like, I know my monitor is 240 Hertz, but dang. This is, this is good. Honestly, this is like, you can't even. Okay, I'm impressed. Like. Huh. Okay, I missed all my shots there, but like. Huh. Wow, okay. Uh, yeah. No blur. Looks like input lag is um, extremely low in this. Like, I don't see no issues. I wonder if I can make this even brighter. Picture setup. Let's see here. 
Okay, so that's actually a 32 brightness. And this is what it looks like in my LG monitor at like 100 brightness. So let's see if we can turn this up. Okay. Yeah, this is, I can tell you right now, this is extremely bright. Only issue I have are these dark screens, but these black bars. But let's go ahead and try a game without the black bars and see how immersive this is. Okay, so I want to try a game that supports full screen and HDR. So Overwatch 2 is one of those competitive games that supports HDR and also ultra wide. So let's see what that looks like. I expect this to be super immersive. Look how crazy this is. This is so immersive with, with everything, right? Oh, he pushed me off the cliff. Anyways, <laughs> that's that. I suck at Overwatch, but that's cool. Like, I, I'm honestly really enjoying how big this monitor is. Let me talk about the coding of this monitor. Um, it's glossy. Well, not like glossy like an LG TV, but it's a semi-gloss. So, that's cool. Um, now my LG monitor looks like crap because the coding of this is way better, but that's okay. We'll still, let's test it out. There you go. Okay, so let's talk about like first impressions. Um, you see over here it says HDR. That's kind of cool how it says over the, that says it that way. Um, I'm gonna have to try this multi-view. I wonder if I can have like like a USB type C and the display port because that would be absolutely amazing if you could literally connect your laptop and your PC monitor so like split down the middle you know I don't have it connected but that's something I definitely have I'll definitely have to try right like see look it says your PC and your laptop so I wonder if if that's even a thing right that would be Absolutely insane. That would be the best. All right, so here's my thoughts about this monitor. Um, obviously, it's QD OLED. It's the better version of OLED. So the mon so the colors are way more vibrant than the WD. I think it's called WD OLED that I have. Uh, it only has 175 hertz, but to be honest with you, it's still very smooth. Like I wouldn't, like yes, 240 hertz is really cool and really fast. But by looking at this monitor. Honestly, it's pretty smooth as well. And as far as input lag, I can actually say like it's pretty snappy. If um if I if I did decide to do a try hard, if I if I decided to play like really hard, I don't see it like hindering hindering my game performance. But obviously, that's something we'll have to test. Um, for an OLED monitor, obviously it's also super bright because it's QD OLED. So really appreciate that. My only issue is it's expensive, obviously, and <clears throat> if they could make this monitor without like the smart integration stuff, like just the straight up monitor without these, and they could knock the price off maybe like $200, $300, then this would be in the same price point as the Alienware QD OLED. And I honestly think at that price point, this would be a really good buy. So maybe if Maybe if we just waited a little bit longer since Samsung usually discounts their monitor. If you could snag this at the same price as the QD OLED, yet alone the DWF version at $999 or $1099, honestly, this would be the better choice. But for now, I'm going to use this monitor a lot more. And that was just my quick impression video. Um, you'll probably use, I'll probably use it for a week and then I'll do an update vid video after that. So that's it for me. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.